Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. I greet you according to your time and the time you are seeing this video. We are still on the gist from the Palace of Oni of Ife. Uh, I want to appreciate you for always being part of this channel. Thank you so much for your support. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share my video, okay? So, guys, information reaching us right now is that uh, Queen Naomi breaks down in tears. Allegedly, oh, allegedly. They said this... Uh, Eleru Abiola Donsumo. This uh, this woman is like a king right now in Lagos State. They said uh, around 1980, yes, they said one of her relatives, who was the then Oba, made her, gave her the title as the ceremonial queen mother, you know. And ever since then, they said when the uh, current Oba passed on, she assumed the post so she's like now she is now a woman king yes and they say she is doing well you know and she is too close to Oni of Ife and they say she have a whole lot of respect for the king but she's like a mother to the king yes when this issue of a uh, uh, pastor Adimuju started trending we do know that one thing is that Benomis uh, when Naomi and Oni of the first news is on social media every now and then. So it's not a news. And anyone that is a socialite uh, uh, will always come across news that has to do with the king and the uh, Queen Naomi. And they said the woman in question is also a socialite. She's a businesswoman. She's very rich and well respected. You know, and I'm sure they respect her because she respects herself. You know, the respect is reciprocal. So they said, when this woman find out or uh, started hearing about all of this gist going on in Queen Naomi's name, they said she summoned Queen Naomi and was advising her, telling her that, look, oh, that you are blessed. As Queen Naomi, you are blessed. That is what we heard, though, allegedly, that you shouldn't allow people's opinion or what people think about you to make you uh do mistakes and all of that that uh in as much as all of this thing is going on that you should know that in your position that a lot of people are envious of your position and they will do everything to put you out of that position that as for what is going on right now that uh you will always experience things like this but you have to be steadfast you 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 should know that you you married uh, one of the great deities. They said the king is a deity that is living. I don't know. I don't understand it because maybe I don't belong to that class. They said among the 401 uh, deities that they have in that palace, that the king is one, a living one. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is those who really believe in that that will understand it better. But that is what we keep hearing. If it is true or not, I don't know. And like I will always remind you, they are all alleged information. They said this woman have advised Queen Naomi to give her husband time. That she should know that she have it son for the king. And no matter what, he should remain with his husband. Even though things are not going the way she anticipated it, but she should also understand that she is still the first wife of the king and well respected at that. That she shouldn't allow people who are trying to push her out of her position succeed. And one thing is certain. You see, uh, before now we heard that there is going to be serious battle. But uh, at the end of everything, that Naomi will be, will be victorious. That is what we heard. They did not tell us that Naomi will leave the husband or the Naomi will continue with the husband. As a matter of fact, the more of the uh, revelation that we are hearing is that Naomi will be the last woman standing in the life of the king. That is what I heard. I don't know if it is true or not. So, and they said this woman told Queen uh, Naomi that you have fought so much battle and you shouldn't allow now that you are very close to the victory and you you allow situation or what people are suggesting or advice or wrong advices or anything push you out from the victory. And this also reminded me of one video I made. I saw it on social media where they said a mad woman visited Queen Naomi. No, not visited. They said Queen Naomi was passing and she waved on her. They said, they said uh, mad woman, they said Queen Naomi had been rendering help to her. 
uh, even get a house for her and all of that. The second enemy was passing when this woman uh, beckoned on her to wind down. And when she did, they said the woman... Kunami wanted to give her money, thinking that it is business as usual. And the woman told her that today is not for money, that she have a, a, a message for her. And told her that you are a son, of, uh, you are a daughter of God and all of that. After Kunami telling her that she's not the daughter of God, that she's a daughter of Almighty and everything. They said the woman ended up telling Kunami that you see that battle that you have won, you know. So I don't know if it is about this particular thing. Because we... Left for us, who we'll say that the battle that Kwenomi is fighting is how to regain her position in the palace as wife of the king. That is, if you ask us, the online in-laws. We don't know if there is any other battle that she's fighting, apart from the one we know or we think. Mm -hmm. So, but they said the woman told her that you have won the battle. That it will not take time and it will manifest. <laughs> And now they said this uh, Eleru Abiola Dosumo is also advising her that you are close to victory, that you shouldn't give up now, so that all the ones that you have fought will not be in vain. You know? So, and according to what we are hearing, the part that make me happy is they said the woman in question, this uh, Eleru Abiola, they said she have also called the king and advised the king to do what he needs to do if he really wants Kwenomi back to the palace. That Kwenomi cannot wait forever. That Kwenomi is a young woman who really uh, needs to enjoy her life. That she's not going to pause her life or live her life forever like this. So they said the, uh, the woman have told the king all that she needed to tell him, you know, that uh, she cannot just open her mouth and start telling her, see, you go and send all these women and out so that this and that. But they said she gave her a motherly advice, you know. And if it is true, mm, I believe uh, maybe the king will know that uh, Queen Naomi might not wait for, her, for him forever. And on second, they said the woman also told Queen Naomi that even if the king was unable to achieve what he is fighting for by June, that she should still give him time. That it is not going to be as easy as people are saying it. That a lot of uh, people are involved. A lot of water have passed under the bridge and he needs time. That what matters most is that he is a responsible father and a responsible husband. That every other thing that they are going to take care of it. Anyways, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. I wasn't there when she was advising her. As I hear them, that's why I can't bring them. Okay? Tell me what to think about it on the comment section. And please share this video. I love you guys. Bye for now.